have just heard the opening notes from the movie Superman. We don't need red tights and cape to be a hero. It's making a positive difference one person at a time that makes us one. And when we think of our hearing, for example, we often take it for granted until we start losing ours. And that's exactly what happened to me starting in first grade. I needed hearing aids in class. I had learned how to read lips. I learned facial expressions in order to understand people. And the past two years have been incredibly difficult with everybody masked up. Our lips are hidden. I could not read them. And it felt like my disability was slammed right in my face all the time. Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Bochanski, and I'm a motivational speaker who shares stories with audiences of this incredible life journey. It's been filled with high points, but it's also been filled with setbacks and frustrations about my cerebral palsy and my hearing loss. I did not learn how to walk till I was four years old. I was virtually in a wheelchair, but can walk pretty well now, and learned how to drive a car. So I'm really proud of those achievements, and I want to give back to the community. Recently, my audiologist of 43 years, Bob Desogra, recently submitted my name to a leading hearing aid manufacturer, Otacon, and Otacon selected me as a national advocate finalist nationally for an award. Now, I don't consider this an award. I consider it an honor, a privilege, to represent those with hearing loss on the nationwide scale because our challenges can be the greatest gifts that we have in life. And I want to open up a new world for those who retreated into their world and open up their world of hearing and realize just how beautiful and gorgeous that world is for all of us. But I need your help for the next five days. There's public voting for the best candidate, the best advocate, and I hope to earn your vote of confidence. And in order to do that, I'm going to share with you a little clip so that you can be in my audience when I give motivational programs like this. And I feel that everyone has a canvas of life. We surround ourselves with different people who provide a hypothetical palette. And we dip our brush into the paint and add colors to our canvas over the years. Some of the colors are bright and colorful because of the kind of people they are. They have bright, bubbly personalities. There are other colors that are darker. And they, on the canvas, they represent times when you might be abused, when you might encounter violence or a traumatic experience in your life, when you're lonely or frustrated all right, when you're depressed, but you can't let that get to you. Because when you step back and realize just how priceless your canvas is, it's a painting, and it's a painting of your life. My Uncle Mike would say, the heart is a beautiful pen in which to write new memories. And that's true of everything. The overall theme of my programs and keynotes is love. When you love your job, when you love your family, when you love your work and going to work every day, when you love your school. Love is the most powerful gift that we could get, receive and give in life. 